Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Right now we are going to talk about a very important question of class 10 CBSE syllabus. How to identify the position of elements in the periodic table. Of course the question is not directly asked in the same pattern but there are so many questions asked around this concept like they will give you atomic number and from there they ask you to find the group number, maybe they ask you to find the period number, they will ask you to find valence electrons, valence C and many more. So we are going to talk about how to identify the position right now and we will talk about determining the other parameters maybe in the later video. Well as you all know the elements have been arranged in the modern periodic table. We do have 180 elements right now. The horizontal rows are called as periods and the vertical columns are called as groups. We have totally 18 groups and 7 periods for now. Done. But then in spite of remembering the elements according to their group and period, looking at the electronic configuration will be able to predict easily. But then how does that happen is the question. Let's take a fresh page to understand this in detail. Whenever you have to sort out the position of an element in the modern periodic table, there are two things that you have to know, of which one is the atomic number. You should be knowing the atomic number of that particular element. And the second thing is you should be able to write the electronic configuration out of that atomic number and only when you are able to do these two things you will be able to identify the position. So let's now take one element for example say we are talking about uh, magnesium whose atomic number is 12 and now with the help of this atomic number let's write electronic configuration according to shells K L M. As we know, the capacity of first shell is 2 and second shell is 8. And after filling first two shells, will be left behind with two electrons which are filled into third shell. 2, 8, 2 is the electronic configuration. Right? So knowing these two things is the basic requirement to be able to predict the position. Well, now let us see with the help of this electronic configuration, how can we understand its position in the periodic table. For that, let's take a fresh page. When you know the electronic configuration, 2, 8 of our element right now, magnesium. What you have to do is, you have to identify two things again. Of which first one is, you should be able to identify how many shells are there according to the, according to the electronic configuration. For example, look at the number of digits that you have, 1, 2, 3. So, 3 shells should be there. Yeah, so the number of places that you see is nothing but number of shells. Well, and the second thing that you should identify from here is how many electrons do you have in the last shell? And here I get to see two electrons in the last shell. Yeah, so number of electrons in the last shell is equal to two. Right, that's it. If you get to know these two things, you will be able to determine the position. But let me tell you, how can you do that? There are three shells and the number of shells is equal to the period number to which the element belongs to, period number. And the number of valence electrons is equal to the group number. But there is an exception that you have to remember. I will be telling you the exception in a while. So according to this data, magnesium belongs to period number 3 and it belongs to group number 2. But the exception that I told you you should be remembering about group number is here. If your number of electrons is equal to 1, the group number is also equal to 1. Number of electrons in the last shell, you term it as valence electrons to group number 2. But when your number of electrons is equal to 3 in the last shell, group number is 13. Please remember constantly from here. Yeah. When number of electrons is 4, group number 14. Number of electrons 5, group number 15. 6, group number 16. 7, group number 17. And 8, group number 18. Do remember that we don't study from the group number 3 to number 12 in our syllabus. And we don't even use that to identify the positions. Remember this, this is very important. Otherwise, you will fail in identifying the positions, right? So let's quickly go back and summarize whatever we have done so far. We are talking about how to identify position of elements in the periodic table. And there are two requirements that you should be knowing. First one, you should know the atomic number. And the second one, you should know to write electronic configuration. 
and after you write electronic configuration there are two steps that you should do one identify how many shells are there in that particular element and second one identify how many valence electrons are there in that particular element number of shells is equal to number of period and valence electrons number of valence electrons is equal to group number but then it is not as i mean it is not always possible there are some exceptions that you have to remember and those exceptions are given in this table right now let's try one more example before we conclude the class well let's try calcium this time calcium's atomic number is sorry atomic number is 20 i wrote it as 18 here i'm so sorry for that atomic number 20 and now can you write the calculate i mean can you write the electronic configuration you try writing it according to the shell configuration 2 8 8 and 2 do you get the same that's great if you have gotten the same that's great if not you have to work on writing configurations then so from this atomic number and electronic configuration that's been written, you should take up the number of shells. There are four shells here. How many ever digits do you find that can be equal to the number of shells? And how many electrons in the last shell? You have two electrons in the last shell. So the number of shells is equal to period number, isn't it? So which period does it belong to? Period four. Number of electrons in the last shell is equal to group number, but according to this table, it's two electrons. So group number two so two electrons are there group number two that means calcium belongs to fourth period and group two but let us actually find out if it is correct or not where is group number two here is group number two and here is period number four one two three four is calcium present in that particular position yes absolutely yes right so that's how we find the position of elements in the periodic table but then i also have an exercise that that is to be given to you so that you acquire more confidence in it so according to the method that we have discussed in this video try to find the position of elements like sodium sulfur and phosphorus and you can also let me know the answers in the comment session let me verify if you have gotten it correct of course you also can verify on i mean verify by yourself by having this reference done i hope you have understood it but then in case you have some doubts don't hesitate to let me know through the comment section bye bye everybody good night